good afternoon. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this Committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the Committee present today. We have Councilmembers Barron, Kalos, Ku, Miller, Reynoso, Richards, Grudenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. I want to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on projects referred out of our zoning and planning subcommittees. From our zoning subcommittee, we'll be voting to approve LUs 331 and 332, the Douglaston Parkway rezoning for property in Councilmember Ballone's district in Queens. The applicant seeks to remove to rezone the West Side Douglaston Parkway from Northern Boulevard extending to the north, approximately 700 feet. The zoning map amendment would rezone an existing R1-2 district to a R6A slash C1-2 district. There is a related zoning text amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing utilizing MIH option one or option two. These actions will facilitate the development of an eight-story building and one five-story building, resulting in approximately 83 dwelling units, of which approximately 34 are required to be permanently affordable, and which will be affordable independent residents for seniors. While the surrounding areas to the northeast and south is characterized by single family detached homes, there are larger six to seven story apartment buildings clustered around the intersection of Northern Boulevard and Douglaston Parkway. The proposed R6A district would more closely match these existing multifamily residential buildings and bring three existing buildings into conformance and greater compliance. The proposed R6A slash C1-2 district proposed for Lot 39 would permit locally oriented commercial uses up to FAR of 2.0. The proposed C1-2 zoning overlay is the same commercial overlay district map directly across the street from the project area along Douglaston Parkway. The proposed development, in addition to being in con context, would help address the need for more housing in Queens and in the city overall, including permanently affordable mandatory inclusionary housing, which will be provided as affordable independent residents for seniors with incomes at or below 80% of the AMI. Councilmember Ballone is in support of this application. We will be voting to modify LUs 335, 336, and 337, the 570 Fulton Street rezoning for property in Majority Leader Combo's district in the Bronx. The zoning map would change in Brooklyn. Well, I'm sorry. The property in a Majority Leader Combo's district in Brooklyn. The zoning map change would rezone C6-4 district to a C6-9 district. The related zoning text amendment would establish a maximum FAR of 18 for commercial or community facility uses. Apply certain bulk regulations of the special downtown Brooklyn district to C6-9 districts and create a new special permit to waive some of those regulations for irregularities shaped sites. The requested special permit will modify certain bulk yard and lot coverage requirements. Together these actions will facilitate the development of a 40-story mixed-use tower with 14 stories of office space. Because this is a small and irregular site, the proposed building, even at a FAR of 18, will not be out of scale as compared to its surroundings. Our modification will be to make the special permit in inapplicable to hotel uses, given that the purpose and need set forth in the application is to facilitate office uses in downtown Brooklyn. Majority Leader Combo is in support of this application as modified. We will vote to approve LUs 348 and 349, the Williams Bridge rezoning for property in Councilmember Jonas District in the Bronx. The applicant seeks approval of a zoning map change from a C8-1 district to an R7A and R7A slash C2-3 district, and a related zoning text amendment designated the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one and option two. These actions will facilitate the development of a mixed-use building with accessory recreation space, 16 parking spaces, bicycle parking, and ground floor commercial office space. And the applicant has agreed to limit this building to, a, to seven stories. Council Member Jonah is in support of this application. We will be voting to modify LUs 350 and 351, the Betances 6 rezoning for property in Council Member Ayala's district in the Bronx. The applicant seeks approval of a zoning map change from R6 to R7X and R6 slash C1-4 to R7X slash C2-4 and a related zoning text amendment to map the project area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area. 
These actions will facilitate the development of a 15-story building with 100 affordable housing units and ground floor commercial space. We will be modifying the application to remove option two, leaving MIH option one in place. Council Member Ayala is in support with this modification. From our planning subcommittee, we'll be voting to approve LU330, 67-69 St. Nicholas Avenue in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan. HBD is seeking a new 40-year Article 11 tax exemption and the termination of the prior exemption for the site. The building of 27-unit low-income co-op, which is occupied, was carved out of the most recent round of the third-party transfer program. The 40-year tax exemption will be retroactive for 10 years and forwarded for 30 years. The current HDFC will retain ownership for this building. Councilmember Perkins is in support of this project. We will also vote to approve pre-considered LUs 343, 344, and 345, the East Village House Homes Phase 1 and Phase 2, and East Village Homes NCP. The property is in Councilmember Rivera's district in Manhattan. These applications will facilitate the new construction of two mixed-use, mixed-income residential rental buildings, which will be 100% affordable. The 54 apartments will be built on two non-contingent, vacant, city-owned lots. HPD is seeking Article 11 tax exemption for the two sites and an amendment to a previously approved UDAP project. Councilmember Rivera is in support of this project. Lastly, we will vote to approve pre-considered LU342 and the 32-34 Putnam Avenue cluster, which consists of a group of buildings in the districts of Councilmember Combos and Cornegies in Brooklyn. HBD is seeking pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law, approval of an urban development action area project and a real property tax exemption. The project includes six partially occupied city-owned buildings, which, which will be restored. The housing will be 100% affordable with 51 cooperative dwellings units and five rental dwelling units. There will also be four storefront commercial spaces. Council Member Cornegy and Cumbo are in support of this project. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right, seeing none, I will now call a vote in accordance with, re with recommendations of the local council members and subcommittees to approve the OUs 330, 331, 332, 342, 343, 344, 345, 348, and 349, and to modify OUs 335, 336, and 337, 350, and 351. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Gibson. Aye on all. Barron. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Barron to explain her vote. Thank you. I'm voting aye on all with the exception of LU 335, 337, and 343 and 345. Regarding 335 and, I'm sorry, 335 to 337, we're adding another 40 story tower about half a block away from where BAM is located. And it says, I heard comment that it blends with the surrounding uh, developments, the surrounding area. That's because we're bringing in two other 40 plus towers one block up from that. I think that's really over development and it's not at rates that will be able to be available to those who are below 100% of the AMI. And regarding the East Village phases, half of the apartments there are also, not half, uh, nearly, I think it's 40% are at market rate. And I think we're gentrifying the country, the city rather, with giving funds to people who are not bringing in house. I think, the, I think at the State of the City address, it was said that 60% of New York City is below the 100% AMI, so why are we approving projects that are not matching the majority of the city? Thank you. Kalos. Aye and all. Koo. Aye. Levin. Aye and all. Miller. Aye. Reynoso. I vote aye and all. Richards. Aye and all. Gordenchik. Adams. Aye. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Aye and all. Rivera. Aye. 
We have a 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items are adopted on today's land use agenda with LU items 343, 344, 345, 335, 336, and 337 are adopted by the committee, 13 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. And I also want to remind the committee that we'll be going over to the chambers to start the uh, budget consultations. Uh, this hearing is now adjourned.